I think a lot of the time people are afraid of the ocean, especially the deep ocean, because they don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, when you get down to it, there's a lot of really, really cool animals, and a lot of the animals in the deep sea are way more cool than they are scary. Today I'm highlighting a species in the deep sea that I think is really, really cool. Uh, it's called the pelican eel. Pelican eels are also known as gulper eels, so you might have already heard of them. These eels have an amazing ability where they can expand their jaws and their stomach to incredible sizes. This ability is unique to them and their cousins, at least as far as eels are concerned. Uh, the way their jaw stretches gives them a pelican-like pouch, which is why, of course, they're known as pelican eels. They tend to live at depths ranging from 500 to 3,000 meters. meters. Pelican eels have a worldwide distribution, as you can see by the image on screen now, the areas in red are where they live. Uh, very little is known about their mating behavior, which is similar for many species of eel. Uh, their overall life cycle is also unknown, but current leading theories is that they only have a single season where they spawn, uh, or they have very, very few times during their life where they spawn. Uh, pelican eels are rated as least concern because they pose no harm to humans and have no commercial value outside of scientific study, meaning they're not overfished or hunted in any kind of way. Despite having this massive mouth and stomach that can stretch to allow it to eat meals that are literally bigger than the eel itself, they actually typically eat small squid and crustaceans. Uh, because of the pelican's, pelican eel's small teeth and bioluminescent lure, Marine biologists think that it feeds by using the lure on its tail to trick small squid and octopi into swimming into its mouth, or by passively letting food enter its mouth. That being said, in 2018 we have video evidence of pelican eels actively swimming after food, which was not expected by marine biologists when they went on this exploratory mission. Uh, the reason their mouth stretches so big, at least the current theory in marine bio, is that it might be an adaptation to allow it to survive when there's not a lot of food, so it can eat bigger fish or things that it wouldn't normally be able to eat if its mouth was proportional to its body. Scientists also think that these adaptations help the eel scare away predators so they can inflate their mouths into a ball shape, which makes it look bigger and more frightening to, to any deep sea predators. Uh, pelican eels often find their way into spooky or creepy descriptions of sea life, but in reality, they aren't psycho slashers of the sea. They're more likely to drift by or inflate their mouths to try and scare you off or swim away. The longest they get is about two meters, which is still way too small to do anything to a person. And part of the reason we don't know much about them is because they're so fragile that it's really, really hard to get any kind of sample alive or dead up from the deep sea in one piece. I really hope you've enjoyed my video on one of the coolest creatures in the deep sea. Uripharynx and Sacopharynx are the only genera of eels with these specific adaptations. And I think it's fun to think about why these eels are so different from other related species. If you have any questions about these awesome eels, visit some of the links in the description. And if you have any theories on why these eels have adapted this way, let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.